Hi, morning to laddies. My name is Assassin and welcome back to Coffee Dot. It's been a while. <laughs> it's, it's been a little bit. Hey, I didn't forget. It's just uh, there's been a lot of other things going on. Hey, we're we're back, okay? And he, we have Bailey here. Um and and, and yeah, uh I, I don't know. Uh <laughs> Uh, a voice. What? I forgot your voices already. God. Good evening, Mr. Bailey. <laughs> You've been gone for like five fucking weeks. What do you mean, good evening? Oh, God. What are these things? You were late. You were late. You had, uh, you, uh, shit. Evening. Am I the first customer tonight? You see anyone else here? You are. That's new. Where is that annoying Freya? <laughs> uh, Freya's not here? She said she's coming later tonight. Got something to do with meeting some, uh, some fellow writer friends. Why not do it here? I don't know, maybe because we're annoying and we bugged the shit out of her and she probably hates us. It's her favorite place, right? I don't know. I, I, I feel like it changed his voice like several times before. And I think the last time I played, I gave him like the kind of like the smooth jazz voice. Like, hey, how's it going? Let's sit down. Let me play you some jazz. Her friends have visited this place from time to time. Just not as much as her. Riders gathering, huh? I wonder what riders talk about when they're hanging out. I've known them for some years now. She has th this habit, you know? She just can't stop riding. Once she picks up a pen, it's like 500 pages written down. It's like fucking Mozart. Like that shit's Shakespeare, you know? If she said sh they're friends, it means they're just hanging out normally. No, she said they're writer friends. They're probably talking about work. Either giving each other feedback on their latest cra or drafts, or sharing and validating it ideas. Interesting. They even use code words for meeting, like anime or manga. Oh, it's not not like that. She doesn't even realize that that's what she says. I just picked up on it. That's even more interesting. You guys got like a weird love thing going on where like you, you, you both like each other but like you're dude you just don't you, dude, no one knows who to fucking ask out yet. Like Jesus get a fucking room already. God just ask her out you dumbass. Fucking fuck you Bailey. God you fucking bitch. How about you don't fucking eat it or uh, order your coffee. You didn't even order anything yet. Are you always so observant? Are you a nosy ass bitch? Do you look everywhere you see? God, why is your face so stupid? Fuck you, Bailey. No, you know what? No coffee for you. I actually have coffee right here. Get it? Cause we're playing a game called Coffee Talk. So I decided to make coffee if that wasn't very obvious. <laughs> it's part of the job. Why is that? People come here every day. Some of them are as talkative as the others. Some of them like sitting in the corner and looking out the window as the rain. It, you, did you know it's been raining basically every day outside? Like, you would think people would be like, this has to be like some sort of weather phenomenon, right? Like, I, I don't think the weather is supposed- anyway. But their body language can be loud and clear. It can tell you a lot of things. Whether they need a friendly ear, or just tell you to get the fuck out. <laughs> get the fuck out of their face. Or just want to be alone. It applies to what they're ordering as well. Because, you know, sometimes what people want is not what they need. Like a line of cocaine. <laughs> That, that, that's deeper than I would ever thought. 
So what are you reading for me now? You're a bitch. <laughs> I won't say. Why? That would break the charm. <laughs> the hell was that? I guess I can say this much. What did I say or do to the, our customer? What? It's always related to what I'm getting from their body language. Including our interaction now. Including our interaction now. Man. You freak. <laughs> now I see why you don't didn't want to share. Even that was enough to make me feel like I'm naked in front of- Okay, I don't need that image in my head. I- No. No. God. No. Fuck. God. No. <laughs> but the way... I haven't ordered anything. What are you having tonight? Hot chocolate. With ginger and cinnamon. Mmm. Just like mama used to make. Before she inevitably got hit by that squirrel. God damn it. <laughs> I heard that's a good drink for a bitter heart. Okay. What was what, what you what you want again? Ginger and cinnamon, right? I don't actually know what he was saying. Oh, I forgot. Bitter heart, hell yeah. I mean, oh no, here you go. Here you go. This isn't it, is it? You're probably a romantic person, huh? Spending extra time decorating this drink. Only for special people and special drinks. Just like you, Bailey. <laughs> Say, Caleb. Tell me about yourself. Uh, how's he? I ran away from home when I was 10. I, my life room was really spired out of control after I read, like, did a line of cocaine. I was, I was like, oh, that shit was, like, hit. And then I met a talking squirrel in a garbage can. He also, um, told me about, uh, what's it? How to put cheese in a toaster or how to mix drinks. I don't know. Basically, yeah. <laughs> what do you want to know? Anything. How old are you? I'm 999. <laughs> Oh, enough to open a coffee shop. Oh! <laughs> oh, man. I think I changed your voice completely. I guess I should I should say sorry for asking that. Definitely changed your voice. <laughs> it's alright. That's the only answer I can give. Now you're making me wonder, kid. You're gonna go places. What, sh uh, what, what I should ask next? I don't know. Want some coffee? You look like you can you can need it. Hello everyone. <clears throat> oh. Wow. This coffee is super good. <laughs> Why are you both looking at me like that? I I wasn't I I was I I I was, You see this wall? Oh, nice ceiling. Really got the architecture. Really need to get that here. Bailey, stop looking. Raya, you look. Like shit. Horrible. N no, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. She's uh, calm down there, uh, me and game. You're gonna anger the beast. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to echo on our bar dear barista. Yeah, you do. You look horrible. Hey, say, you get any sleep lately? What happened? 
you'd be better asking what didn't happen because the answer would be proper sleep and decent progress on my draft. You need a rest, Arthura, and miss my deadline. Hell no. Sorry, Baileys. I won't be able to keep you company because I have to finish this thing. And for that, I'll need a whole hell of a lot of espresso. Are you sure about that? I mean, coffee does help a lot. Like most of the, most of my my YouTube is made basically consuming coffee. You uh, you really should just rest. Get something to help you sleep. Espresso. Jesus, sorry. Fuck. Please. <laughs> okay. It's, she said espresso, but I looked it up and it said that when she's tired, I should make her a bed rest or a bed chamber drink. I'm just doing what the thing tells me, you know, fucking. Here you go. What the hell? It told me to, whatever. What the hell, dude? This isn't even coffee. Drink! But this isn't what- DRINK! <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's on the house. It better be. Uh... <laughs> How was the meeting? <laughs> it was pretty good. I got a lot of good advice. But that also means things. Not a small number of them, mind you. Needed to be rewritten. Oh. Oh. It's not that bad. Rewriting is part of the process. It's just that. It's just. I'm going to my usual corner. Although, thanks to your dream. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to stay awake or not. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, she looks kinda shit. She does. But don't worry about her. He'll finish it. This isn't the first time she's acting like this? Nope. But this time, the stakes are pretty high. Hmm. So... What brings you here today? I'm not even sure myself. <laughs> I just came to drink some of your shit coffee. <laughs> it is pretty shit. I had no plan tonight. And this place just came to mind. It's almost like I could smell the aroma of shit coffee in the air. Of your shit fucking, uh, bar the barista. I get it. Oh, I'm sorry. Out of the blue. I have to thank your subconscious then. I guess you should. I guess you should. Would you look at that? We're closed. Oh shit, this is gonna get really awkward. Not sure whether I should think it or not though. Hi, Lua. Hi, Bailey. How? How? You fir- no, no, you first. <clears throat> I was just going to ask, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? I'm good, yeah. Uh-oh. <clears throat> hmm. I think I need to order something first. Oh, uh, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I was just, I was just leaving, actually. Go ahead. Hi, Caleb. What are you having this evening, Miss Lua? Gingerbread coffee, please. 
I oh yeah, also another thing is um while I was setting up like everything, uh I I totally forgot that there's like um kinda like a mod I don't know why I call it a mod system. There's like a mod page or something for this game, which is really cool. And apparently there's like a mod for like for to basically voice act the characters. Which would be really cool, but <laughs> I kind of like giving my own voices for not to say like uh, I am sure I'm, I'm like sure like the voices acting is great and everything and uh, that would be really cool but I, I just like doing my own voices so that's uh, kind of why I didn't install it. Uh, coffee, ginger, and this game actually makes me want to try out these recipes. <laughs> they, they sound actually really fucking good. Gingerbread coffee. Here it is. Thank you. My grandma used to make this drink for me. It reminds me so much of her. You never fucking told me about your grandmother? <laughs> Bailey, shut up! Uh, it reminds me of when I was growing up with my family. How's work? It's going pretty okay. You? I'm not taking any n new jobs at on at the moment. Because, well, you know. They said my papers were shit. <laughs> yeah. I get it. You have enough in your savings, right? That's a very Lua thing to ask. That, you know, see, that would be something Lua would say. Very Lua of you. But yeah, I do. Thanks to that last annoying job. It went well in the end. What? Uh, it kinda did. They paid me on time at least. And the pay was amazing. How long are you planning to take a break for? I don't know. Until wherever the wind takes me. What the fuck does that mean? I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Until my problems are settled, I guess. And what problems are those? Uh. You guys should really try this coffee. Oh, wait. Alright, I'm a barista. I forgot that. <clears throat> I'll tell you this. But don't tell anyone, okay? Hey! You, don't listen! You, you know... I'm not listening either. No, don't, don't listen to what he's saying. Not even Caleb who's standing right in front of us? Not even Caleb. <laughs> Dumbass won't even see it coming. <laughs> okay. So there's this girl. I love her. Her name? Arthur. Oh. We've been going out for a few years. She likes to drink coffee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, uh... She likes to visit this disgustingly terrible coffee shop where all the coffee is shit and they're made by this shitty barista named, uh, Caleb. Really, Bailey? Really? What? I was- I'm just saying a story. But I'm not really sure where we should- we stand now. How can you not be sure? We had an argument about a week ago. It wasn't anything new. But somehow, things escalated uncontrollably. I got a brick thrown at my head. <laughs> Why is that? I assume both of us were just tired. Tired of all this shit coffee. We should go to, we should go to a new coffee shop. Knowing that we were fighting among or uh, against our centuries of tradition we haven't really sorry i just wasn't expecting an animation i don't know why we haven't really talked since our last fight leaving things unresolved is not a good idea but i can't bring myself to start the conversation why even if i'm not sure about that pride maybe or tiredness Tired of all the bullshit. Or knowing that chances are we won't be able to find the best solution for everyone anyway. Baileys. You're fucking stupid. 
I have a question. Go ahead. I'm all literally. Can you not see my giant pointy ears? I'm literally all ears. Like this whole face. This whole face is just a giant ear. What do you think she's feeling right now? I don't know. Pain, sorrow, sadness. You think this coffee would help? Probably not. To be honest, I don't know. She's not like me. That's for sure. She's fucking amazing. She's out of this world. She's like the summer sunset on a sky bluey sea filled with diamonds in her eyes. The diamonds are actually stars and they're just magnificent. Did I ever- Bailey, we get it. Shut the fuck up. No one's talking to you. Jeez. Uh, why? At least it won't affect her professional life that much. I'm glad I'm a freelancer. It means I could just take a break from work without so many problems. I'm not as professional as her, you see? I think you're wrong. Really? You think I'm not stupid? Oh no, I completely think you're fucking stupid. I just think you're wrong. <laughs> if I were her, which I am, I would find it difficult to live life as usual. But I'd put on a lot of masks. Just to hide the feeling I was going through. That sounds difficult and uncomfortable. Jeez, thank God I'm not her. It is. But a friend told me once. You gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Sometimes you just gotta get back on that, on that horse. And, and you probably get kicked off again. Cause, cause you can't ride a damn horse. But once you figure out in 20th century or less. You'll figure out. What did I gotta do again? He must be a pretty cool guy. He's actually not. I don't like him. He's kind of lame as fuck. Not like that cool barista I know, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> God, why is everyone here so mean to me? Okay, back to the awkwardness. Cool, cool. Yo, Freya, how's, how's that cut? Oh. Shit, Freya's knocked the fuck out. What's next for us, Baileys? I don't know. Maybe Denny's. <laughs> I don't know, Lua. I... I met some new people this week. Including that supermodel. You knew. Uh... That girl in the corner told me. Yeah, including that supermodel. And how does that make you feel? Like a fool. A fool trapped in love. What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel like they just went together so fucking, so perfectly. <laughs> uh. <laughs> He said a lot of things I've been trying to avoid thinking about a lot of troops. He's a bit like you, you know. Same stupid look on your face. Attitude-wise. You get along with him. Doubt it. Opposites track, but similarities breed contempt. Ever heard that one before? I read that in a book somewhere. A lot. From a certain hipster elf that likes coffee as shit as this one. And after listening to that guy, what's your stance on? You know. Us. I hate it. <laughs> I'm not sure, Baileys. What about you, yourself? Had any similar experience like or this week? I have, in fact. There was a supermodel, this girl was pretty cute, cute. her name is Lua. <laughs> you met a vampire and uh, and I met a werewolf. <laughs> oh god, I just fucking... It just clicked with me after she said supermodel. She's talking about, um... What's his face again? Shade? Shell? Snelder? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck his name was. The one that was like, Hello, Lua. You know? What are the odds, indeed? That's what I've been saying. What did your werewolf say? Hmm. 
He said I'm stupid. <laughs> Not much, to be honest. But he made a good point about the importance of family. Bailey's. I know I, I, I've been stubborn about you wanting to make peace with my family. And I know why that's very important for you. But Freya said something that kind of hit me hard. Hit me right in the feels. Hit me in my cold, dead, abyssal heart that I could I never thought could be ever, like, uh, uh, satiated. What was it? She said, poopy, stinky face. <laughs> I was just using you as an excuse to escape my family. When I actually want to do... What? When I actually want to do that anyway for myself you know me Bailey I don't that's why I'm gonna ask you to marry me and you know how I feel uncomfortable with people leaving their families which makes me an asshole I guess I get why you think that way Lua blood is thicker than water uh uh yeah I don't know what should we do Lua Yes, Bailey. <laughs> Please let me leave my family. <laughs> I, I've been trapped here for six to a thousand years. I'll try and get your family to accept me. That sounds like the easier thing to do after all. But you'll lose your immortality. You'll be an outcast among other elves. An outcast for a bunch of overly pretentious people sounds great. You'll live a long time. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. I I just want them to fucking make up something at this point. Just, just, because it, it's kind of just been the fucking thing just back and forth. Be like, yeah, if you do that, you'll lose your immortality. But I don't want to lose my immortality. I, want, or I don't care if I lose my immortality. I'll be with you. And But if you be with me, then this happens. Just fucking pick. God, it's, it's, it's literally, it, you're like a married couple and you're not even married yet. Just fucking choose. So you want to have, won't have the perfect health and perfect life that's the elven privilege. But it's not a, a perfect life without you. You're the peach to my Mario. What if, what if our relationship doesn't last? You'll have lost everything. You'll blame me. Lua, I will never blame you for anything. If we're talking about who I used to be, that guy would never have blamed himself. A hundred reasons for why something failed, but never anything to do with him. But that won't happen with us. You know why? Because I'm the best at business. <laughs> because I've learned so many things by being with you for 10 years. It made me a better person. So, you don't need to worry about any of that. Because right now, you're the most important part of my life. I don't need immortality life. Or immortal. Because without you, it won't be a life worth living. Guys. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm just a barista and everything, but this is, this is beautiful. I, this is, this is what making coffee is all about. Love. Making coffee and love. You know, I, I really think you guys will be cute together. This is just beautiful. <laughs> hey, Caleb. Yeah? Shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> Bailey's. I... Say it. I believe in you. Damn it! Wow. Get rejected. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. Finish Lua and Bailey's arc. Oh my god, they kissed! That was so beautiful! Oh my god, we had a most of all- And Freya! Freya, wake the fuck up! They did it! Also, was that him losing his immortality? Bailey's. I feel like we're living in a soap opera right now. <clears throat> what? <laughs> no. N not- not at all. <laughs> It seems so. So, what's our plan? Tomorrow's Saturday. Are we going on a date? I'm going to my parents' place. Oh. Okay. 
and I want you to come with me. Ah! Oh, go get him, champ. You got it. I see. I always believed in you, Bailey. I always. Caleb, shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> what? That's so sudden. Did you already have plans for tomorrow? No. It's just. I'm, 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 I'm not prepared to meet them again. You'll be fine. I don't want to tell them about this first. Or what? You don't want to. Oh. It'll be alright. Well, they never forbade you from dating other races. They're not a big fan of elves that much is true. But you can prove them wrong. Hmm. Okay, this could be a good first step. It is. It's set then. I don't know what, what'll what happen tomorrow. But we can think about it. Uh, and, any, and anything else. Later. I'm with you on that. So, does this mean you don't mind me? I had my doubts. But but now I'm sure. I can trust you. Lua, thank you. Are you still staying at Faron's house? Yeah. You're staying with me tonight. Oh! Oh, damn! Oh! Oh, he, he's... Oh, whoa, he's getting late. <laughs> Huh? God, what the fuck is happening? God, oh God, what the fuck do I do? Give me some more of that shit. Coffee, God, man, I need it right now. <laughs> fuck. What about your roommate? She's away for the weekend. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Whew. Taking, or taking a long weekend getaway until Sunday. Fate is on our side, it seems. Hey, Caleb. Thanks for the shit coffee. Seems like it was only... It, it, it helped after all. Yes? We're leaving. And never coming back. Thank you so much for keeping up with us this past week. The pleasure was mine. We're off then. See ya. Thanks for coming. Nice. <laughs> the half is so funny. Stupid. Dad. Oh, I'm happy with it. Oh, I'm just sorry. Sorry. That is was not it. I, I just, anyway. Uh, oh, you, you look not tired anymore. That was pretty intense. Oh, you're back in the real world. I just pretended. I just pretended not to notice. They're like one of the main reasons why I'm writing this story. So I have to see this struggle through till the end. It's important for the writing, you know. By the way, when she says story, is that like... Is she writing the game? Like, the this whole story is what she's writing in her... Because that would be a cool, like, thing. It's important for the writing, you know. That's called... What? It's not like that. It's just that... Yeah, that was cold. <laughs> I'm sorry. You look better than before, though. For now. I can't tell you how I feel until it's done. And I don't. Um. <laughs> what was his name again? <laughs> the werewolf guy. He needs to, like, his antidote thing. Oh. Wow, it's a fucking werewolf. Right here, get over here. This wolf? Alright, this wolf. Is that him? I think so. Welcome, sir. I don't, I don't think he wants to talk. Are you crazy? You can't <laughs> treat a werewolf and a fury like a normal customer. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> I've been... I, 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 I've dealt with werewolves before. Sir, would you like a coffee? A latte? Or a... a... Fuck, what do we serve here, Fran? 
uh, would you like a drink? He must have his reason for coming here. <laughs> Could you repeat that? I, I... No, I still don't think I understand. You can relax, sir. Do you need anything? Something to calm you down, maybe? Would you like one of our now uh, caramel scented uh, uh, coffees? They just. I just I press the wrong. <laughs> mm, yes, yes. I, I, I think I, I understand. I think it's speaking to my soul right now. Tea, milk, ginger. Sorry if this gets us killed. I actually don't know how to. I, I don't know. Does this work? Here's your. Serve Gala when Gala turned into a werewolf. Did I get him killed? Did it work? I think it worked. What the hell? Is that really him? I think so. After seeing the reaction to the drink, 100%. Wow, whoever he is. Uh, this place survived. <laughs> Thankfully, that he just comes back on all naked. But I think I need to close up early. Don't want to cause any more ruckus. Can't have my coffee cups get destroyed. And I need to clean up some of the mess anyway. Good idea. Can you get back all right by your toe? I'll manage. Take care on your way back. You be careful too. See you tomorrow. If you're still open. See ya. Wow, that was an eventful day. Just spilled some of my coffee. Fuck! Mmm. Again, I don't know how many more days we have left. Coffee time. Saturday, October 3rd, 2020, 2020. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Okay. Let's go. Coachella do's and all. Oh. oh, God. Did what's his face Nail go to Coachella? Oh, no. Nail said they were going to Coachella. Atlantic ambassador in talks with fire regarding immigration. Weirdstein company criticized for unfair description of werewolf in their latest box office hit. Okay. Welcome. Hey Caleb. Good evening Freya. You look very, or very cheerful today. It's all thanks to you, you big sack of shit <laughs> okay what did I do <laughs> I'm finally got a good night's sleep last night like I slept like a lot a proper 12 hours of closing my eyes and not thinking about anything Wow How, how's that feel 12 hours I barely get like four hours and then I'm just like more coffee please <laughs> good for you you really needed that I know but I had the deadline coming and I've been pushing myself to finish this draft a bit too much I guess so how's it going now you won't believe this I probably will but when I woke up this afternoon the words just flow through me like water and not forced crap like I've been writing recently. And that's why taking a break is important. See guys, that's, that's the life lesson for today's video, or for coffee talk. Remember to take breaks. Yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you don't need to start lecturing me now. So what's your plan now? I don't know, maybe smoke a blind in the back. <laughs> now, as in right at this moment, I'm planning to go to the bathroom and wash my face. 
And after that, I'll continue riding. Sounds like a solid plan. You know where the restroom is, right? It's like, like all, all the way back there, past all the bullshit. You take a left and you take another right and then it's right there. That was weird. Why did she just smile at me as she went to the bathroom? Okay, I need to just to drink something. Rhea, you're unemployed. Don't waste your time on coffee, or don't waste your money on coffee shop drinks. That is so weird. Coming from a coffee shop. I know. You've been a regular for years. I don't think you. <laughs> I don't think you've paid once. If anything, I think I'm just giving you these drinks out for free, which is terrible for business, but hey, whatever. If you only need the vibes of this place, just right here. No, I can't do that. You don't have any customers tonight. What would I do if this place went bankrupt? It won't happen. How can you be so sure? Just take this tap water and go do your work, okay? But... Hello. See, there's a customer coming right now. So don't worry about me. Hi, Gala. Oh. <laughs> Remember that freak out last night? Hi, <clears throat> Gala. What's wrong? <laughs> I know you're a man of few words, but this is maybe pushing it a bit. Re Freya! Caleb! I'm truly very sorry for what happened yesterday. Gala. Hey, it's alright. No one got hurt, right? And the coffee shop's fine. Don't think about it too much, Gala. Like Freya said. No casualties, no problem with the coffee shop. Sadly, the shit coffee still survived. I mean, wonderful coffee that I make. I still need to redeem myself for the mess I made and I <clears throat> in the scare I gave you. I'm sure there's something I can do. Hmm. Why don't you buy something for the lady here? I'm sure she'll appreciate it. What did you, what, what'd you do? What what do you mean? Do you want anything to drink for you? No. It's alright, Gala. I insist. You don't have to. Please accept it. At least it'll help stop feeling so guilty. At least at little, a little. All right, all right. I wouldn't mind a coffee, not an espresso. Mind you, something with a little less kick. You know how to make sugar and spice? The one with cinnamon? Yes. A couple of sugar and spice, please. Okay, well, you're gonna have to wait because I'm gonna do that in the next episode. Okay. Uh, but I, uh, um, wow, really, really, really happy to be back. And, uh, sorry it's been a while or it's been, it's been a little bit again. A lot of stuff is, um, a lot of stuff and a lot of series has been going on and and i just haven't had time to record but uh yeah uh that is going to be the uh the, ah, god i can't speak tonight that's gonna be it for this episode of coffee talk um what's it called uh we saw uh gala's wolf form which was really cool and really terrifying i think i shit myself huh. <laughs> also we uh got uh what's her name oh, i already forgot oh yeah bailey and lua now in love that's thanks to us. That, that, that's and, and my good coffee. I don't want to hear no one in the comments say it's shit. It's not shit. It's good coffee, okay? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to punch that like button in the face like a pirate. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.